everybody welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a while that I have not done a video for you guys and because it is Thanksgiving week I'm gonna be making a pumpkin dump cake for you guys these are all of the ingredients I'm gonna be using yeah so I'm gonna get started on doing this delicious recipe but before I do that we're gonna say hi dile hola mama la cámara dile hola a todos mis seguidores So right before we do our dump cake, my little nephew and niece, they, they, they want to come out in this video, even though they're really shy. Say hi to all my viewers. So we have here four eggs. We have here two teaspoons of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ginger. Since I didn't have ground um, cloves, I'm gonna be using nutmeg and pumpkin pie mixed. And that's a teaspoon in total. Uh, a stick and a half of butter. We have one cup of granulated sugar. We have a half a cup of brown sugar. We have a 29 ounce pumpkin puree. We have about two thirds of milk. And we have just a regular yellow cake mix. And I'm going to reserve one cup of that. And I'll show you how and why I'm going to be doing that. Um, we have nuts. And then we have some chocolate chips. And that is just for the crunchiness of this cake. And because we did set our um, oven at 350. And we have here already our pan buttered already. And just please excuse the crazy loudness, you know, it's the kids over here making the crazy noise. Yes. Yeah. So, my recipes or whatever I make, there's never going to be a quiet moment here in this house, okay? So, just FYI. I'm going to be using one egg. I melted the butter just for like 30 seconds. This is the one stick of butter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the yellow cake and we're gonna mix all that together. And this is gonna be the base for our cake. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside because we're gonna be doing the second part right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. I'm gonna add the half a scoop of brown sugar, all my spices. And I'm only gonna use half of the granulated sugar. And I'm gonna reserve this for the last step. We're gonna add our milk. And we're gonna mix this right now before adding the puree of pumpkin.
All right, guys, I had to use a bigger bowl here to mix. All right, so now that I have the pumpkin puree in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it up with the rest of the ingredients. Smells like pumpkin pie. But we're not making pumpkin pie. We're doing Crazy kids. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add our pumpkin puree. All right, so in the same pan, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients, the rest of the half, a cup of sugar, the one cup reserved cake mix. Okay, we're gonna add our half a stick melted butter. And then I chopped some walnuts and pecans. Go ahead and just mix that in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a chocolate chip. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix that. So this is how it looks, all layered up together. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 45 to an hour, and it should be ready by then.